So, back in the Pursuit bilge, forward bilge I should say, now we have a bilge pump that's wire pro or plumbed properly. Notice I cut out the false floor so you could actually service the pump on a float switch. Floatress is oriented properly with the uh, test button forward because water has got to come forward to the boat, not aft. So it's got to kick on the switch earlier. And then, oh, I had to orient it properly, but simple routing. Now, there's our vented loop, or our, our loop, I mean. I keep saying vented loop. I mean, that means, you know, fuel tanks and stuff like that. Going to the through all one. Let's see if we, if we lay over on our side. Let's see water climb that vertical right there. That's where the loop should be, not down here by the pump. But one thing that I noticed, okay, see that red and black? That is ground and constant hot for not only this 2,000 gallon per hour bilge pump, but the constant hot also activates the 1,100 gallon per hour bilge pump in the engine compartment. And they got it wired, or whoever does, did, with 18 gauge. Now, what do you figure a 2,000 and 1,100 it's got to take at least, at the minimum, 14. I'm probably going to wire it with 10. But what brain dead you know what was thinking they could run a 3,300 gallon per hour bilge pump with 18 gauge wire? I mean, God, you, this boat was wired or redone in the Northeast and they paid those people a lot of goddamn money. Uh, what exactly do they pay them for? Alright, done with my rent. But anyway... That's a good loop. See you guys later.